Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this video right here is to show you some of you guys I've, I've seen that when you come in before we do the shampoo and other things your ends have a little smell to them and that sometimes they don't really get fully dry all the way so what I like to do is I like to go through with my blow dryer and just make sure that I hit those ends really good taking out a good, another good 30 to 40 percent of that moisture so that in time that Pack in smell won't come into it. To me, I like to call it the wet towel smell. I'm not a fan of it at all. So I just go through after my dryer process, after doing the whole maintenance, and just make sure that I hit all the way down to the bottom of these blocks. If I see a little smoke coming through, that's just because it's hitting the moisture and taking another good part of it away. You don't have to do it for a good portion of the time, but also you want to watch your clients and that you don't want to burn it. So put your hand there and just kind of take it down with getting that hand, getting that out. You will feel it coming through. It just a whole lot. And after that, I just make sure let me open up the that I go through it and I also spray through. Hold up. Make sure I hit those edges. Not really the hair. The hair is going to moisturize from the dryer, from the solutions you use, from the shampoo, the conditioning, and after after a while doing it so consistently, excuse me, would offer a natural shine. So you just want to hit the scalp for sometimes people have, you know, skin that doesn't really produce a, a number of sebum from the scalp and different things like that. Um, also, I'm going to do a quick little style on this, giving her something so she can just get up in the morning and go. She's a working woman, professional woman, as the majority of us are and do. So we're going to give her something free and easy. But she's another one. She hasn't been growing for more than five, four to five years. Uh, she's had them trimmed before, if I do believe, not too much. But this is still her length. You see that she doesn't have breakage. She doesn't have big, huge pots or a bunch of repairs or anything going on here. She has a nice head full of locks, and which I love. So give me a second. I'm going to throw a style up here real quick, and then I'll show you the final result. But make sure you dry those locks to the end fully. Make sure that they are properly clean, pruned. You don't have a bunch of wild hairs everywhere. And that your skin comes three to four uh, every time. Three to four weeks is a good, you know, turnaround period for your maintenance. Somebody just text me, excuse that noise. You know, somebody needs to go to work, work out. But check me out in about ten minutes and I'll show you another piece. Peace.